So what we're going to do, we're going to dive into a next section. And I feel like the guys threw me a bone. <laughs> I, got, I feel like the guys threw me a bone. We're going to talk about Usher's memorable, memorable, legendary halftime performance. I saw a report. I'm not going to name the publication because it's blasphemous. And I'm not going to call out the writer about the top 30 halftime performances of all time. Usher was 22. Why not? Why not? You should. That's our job. I'm not going to do that. Usher was 22. If you saw some of the the lackluster performances that were above him. (laughs) Hey, Nick, Nick, look at my face. (laughs) No, no, Um, no. It's been crazy today, son. I'm I'm going to bring out my New York exit beat. It's been crazy today, son. These people out here, they've been telling me that They've been telling me that, yeah. that 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 concert or well, that that performance wasn't good. They've oh. been out here on the social media oh. and they've been out here telling us, son. Oh, oh my god. Us. Okay. That's um good. I'm 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 gonna dive in here and do I something. I know you've been ready for this one. You, uh, you I, listen. Hey, when, hey, when hey, I, hey, hey, fan, hey, everybody who subscribe and pay attention, we held this topic from yesterday because you know we dove in, but you know, Donald wasn't there. And we held this topic. Because this is near and dear to Donald Hart because they call him Slusher. He told y'all that last time. Because he's not really Usher. Not, not, kinda, not as refined. Was, not as refined. Kind of refined uh, and I'm like goes, a 7-Eleven Usher, so, so that's Usher. So Donald was back then in, in <laughs> he was in high school. Oh, why? You're telling Donald the story. A, and oh. Donald did a whole concert in the middle of a class. He just bust up. Everything with my ex girlfriend. He he bust out with that, and since that moment, he's been slusher, not usher. So it's kind of near and dear to him, guys. So um, he got kicked out of class that day. <laughs> he, they they sent him to CSI. You you gotta go. You can't be in class no more. You're wild. You're tripping. You gotta go. Um. So this is near and dear. So we waited to bring this up. So I know Donald has some remarks about this concert, and he's gonna tell us. I'm sorry, real quick. Thank you for giving for that the long. listeners and viewers. Jesus, I feel so old. I feel uh, so old. Hey, thank you, thank you Nick. Doing this. No, no, thank you, Nick, for giving the listeners and viewers TMI. You're talking 2005. Two Usher's been around for like 25 years. That's crazy. No, I'm 30. So, we're, we're, Rudy, Rudy, <laughs> um, I'm going to give you a little tidbit. You may not know this. You know, we're we're, we're family, but you, you may not know this. Um, the Confessions album in my mind was about my life. Uh-huh. It was not about my life, but in my mind, it was about my life. Um, I was not performing any coitus with any women at the time. I was not getting any. I was, there was no sexual activity happening in my bed at the time. But in my mind, I had a baby on the way <laughs> and I was in LA with my ex-girlfriend. That's what was going on in my mind. All right. So fast forward to 2024 from 2004. Uh, I get I, I, I go on, you know, a little website because I read the first hour of every day of my life. And I see in the comments on, you know, the complexes, the all these different notifications. People are like, their performance wasn't all that. Then I click on their page and they're from Middle Tennessee. And they listen to Jelly Roll. And it's like, you don't even you're not even a part of the same. Like you don't understand the genre. Did did you see him on roller skates? Uh, like, do did you see Alicia Keys? Did you my boo, my boo? Did you did you hear? Did did you see him bring out? Lu- see, some of you kids didn't know Ludacris rapped. You probably thought that's the kid from Fast and Furious, and we're like, no, no, he's a superstar. Ludacris is a superstar. So it's like you probably saw the bald head guy. With a weird uh, uh, top hat costume on him. You're like, who that is? That's Jermaine Dupri. He's a superstar producer. You young kids didn't know who that was. But for anyone that grew up in the 90s or 2000s, that was such an amazing performance. Because it showed us he has so many records. Like, for, First of all, he had three wardrobe changes. He rode roller skates. He had no audio background. He was singing live. He had multiple dancers. He he had to go through all these sessions and progressions and and just got everybody excited. 
one thing I have learned in, in living in this divided country that we're in, people are just not going to like certain things. I don't want to get uh, racial, but some people are just not going to like certain things. They want uh, Kenny Chesney every half day. Yeah. They want... Uh, let me get let me get Blake Shelton every halftime performance. Nick, Nick, that's what they want. Hey, hey, Blake Shelton got a rap song too, by the way. Listen, but <laughs> hey, listen, but that's that's just what they want. They want Morgan Wallen, who I actually like, I like Morgan Wallen. But that's who they want. And I I couldn't help but notice the um the, the online chatter. Uh, listeners and viewers, I don't have social media. That's just my decision. But you know, you can read other forums. And I saw 2025, the chatter, it's going to be in New Orleans. And they want Little Wayne to perform. And I thought to myself, Whoa. I clutched my pearls. Whoa. I said, if they didn't like Usher. What you did? I you clutched my your pearls. pearls. I clutched my pearls. I clutched my pearls. If they didn't approve <laughs> Usher, what are they going to oh do God. with Little Wayne? Wheezy F Baby. I want Master P, baby. man. Is in front of a hundred million people. What are they? What are they gonna? What is conservative America gonna Whoa. say when Weezy? We F- just hit us with one. What did no, he say? Master P. Master P. Master P. No limit soldiers. Can That's you imagine it. that being in the Super Bowl? But really, thank you for bringing that. They might actually get. Some, is is this brother still in prison? He murders. Yeah, not be the last motherfucking you see yeah. a motherfucking black person show up. In but you know, as as you guys know, Rock Nation produces it. That's Jay Z's company. So you know, <laughs> if, if he wants to, you know, put stick a middle finger up to Middle America, he'll go get mass cash money and no limit and do like a a clash of hits, no make limit and say, cash money. Put them together make, and do like make them say uh and back that ass up together. together. Juvenile. <laughs> so I, I want to draw these. You know, will, will they take Mister out of jail? Um, we're gonna leave him in jail because he's there. For, <laughs> for, he's there for rape, so we're gonna leave him. We're gonna twice, leave. twice. We're gonna, leave, we're gonna leave him there. But um, I just I'm saying all this to say Usher was amazing. Uh, some of you uh, I'm not gonna say imbeciles. I'm not gonna say idiots. I'm not gonna say uh, low thinking human beings that weren't a fan. You guys have your own acquired taste, and you're allowed to have it. As a kid, I grew up in the 90s. Um, I remember my way. I remember Kamora Lee Simmons being in his video in the drop top court. Um, when someone asked me, where's Usher at 7 o'clock? And I would say in the drop top, cruising the streets. That's what I would say. So Usher was amazing. Um, I haven't gone to his show yet. I didn't get a chance to go to his Las Vegas residency, but I will be going to his show this year, maybe seven times, a cool seven in different cities. So if you guys see me, say, come on now. And I'm going to say, what's up? What's up? Um, so that's basically it. That's my that's my uh, Usher rant for you guys. It was amazing. And anyone that says he wasn't, you can... um. Run in traffic, that's harsh. That's harsh. Um, right. Damn. Yeah, we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. We're gonna leave it there. Y'all, y'all really hurt Donald with that one because he, he won't even speak that much. So y'all just made him come out. The turtle shell, Raphael, Donatello. Yeah. <laughs> Rudy, you want to go or you want me to go first? I'll go quick because I'm old. and I, I mean, I, I thought, look, I don't care about the halftime show, honestly. I get, I get so tired of how people, I mean, sorry, I don't. I, I can't stand that it takes an hour to get back on the field. And I think that has a major impact on how games can go. It is the Super Bowl. I would actually much rather do that show at, before the game. It, that's just a thought because having these guys sit in the locker room for almost an hour when they're kicking the crap out of somebody, that makes a difference. And I think it's made a difference multiple times in multiple Super Bowls. That said, I thought he did a good job. I'm not an usher fan the way Donald is. Um, I think he's good. Um, I thought it was okay. I was entertained. I think people, when they make their statements, it's just based on the, tip, the type of music that they like or dislike. I mean, because when they've had rock bands up there, I think it's brutal. And I don't even, I, I watch it even less. Um, like, I, I, I don't even pay attention to it. I might leave the room for 20 minutes because it's a waste of my time. You know, 
I remember when they, I remember Prince was there once. I, I was never a Prince fan, never understood this infatuation with Prince. I'm just being honest, I, I did it. I still don't personally. What did he do to your job? I thought, I was like, wait, did he just put on roller skates? Like, how the hell did he put on roller skates that damn fast? I can't put my shoes on that. I can't put on my slides that fast. This man had roller skates like within 10 seconds on his feet. I don't know how that was done. <clears throat> That's pretty remarkable. And the war the wardrobe changes so quickly. Um I I what was uh, I, I I was hoping that they might get into something of ludicrous where, you know, Gosh, what could have been there with Ludacris? They could have been Welcome to Atlanta, but I mean, I guess, you know. It's not his I mean. It's, not his, it's, it's, it's what Jermaine Dupri was there as well, so. They could have um, started off like that. Something. How they yeah, put the keys on, they, they gave her yeah. a little section in the name. Yeah. I mean, heck, most people forgot Alicia Keys was a singer, for Christ's sake. She's been gone for so long. I mean, in terms of performing, as far as I know. Uh, but he did a good job. I mean, kudos to him. Congratulations to him. Uh I don't know that I'm going to pay 800 bucks to go watch him perform in Miami in October. I think it's in October. Yeah. Uh, is that not but, a, uh, yeah. yeah you, I, I'm, have, glad Don, I'm glad Donald got wife, to enjoy it. If you have a wife and you do have a... She doesn't care about us or like that. What? Nah, man. So let me, nah. let me, let me tell y'all how I... I'd rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather listen to Belle Biv DeVoe and, uh, you know, Joe to see and... Ooh, yeah. And, uh, you know. And I mean, Ooh, if, yeah. if, R, if, if R. Kelly wasn't in, in locked up in some federal prison... um. Hey. I mean, R. Kelly might be the greatest R&B singer in, ever in my subject, lifetime. Touchy subject, Rudy. Touchy subject. I mean, Nick will play it till Alaska. We know that. I will play motherfucking <laughs> R. Kelly. I won't play Robert, but I'll play R. Kelly. I'll play. I'll play. I'll play R. Kelly all day. All mother. TP two. You know how much? How much? Mm -hmm, I got off of TP two in the back seat of my Malibu. Nick, Nick, what is? Mm -hmm, what is? Mm -hmm. I got in the back seat of my Malibu yeah. back. Is that when Coitus? Is that Coitus? You understand? I try to sing those songs myself. Like one, we'll go to my so, hey. two. I'll stop there. That's the singing. Right. That's my right. singing. Hey, listen here, man. Usher, listen here. I ain't mad at Usher, man. He had my girl hot and ready like a Krispy Kreme donut. Hot and ready. I I ain't mad at that. I got, You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to parlay that into some loving for Nick Taylor. Y'all think I'm going to hate on him? Heck no. I'm going to parlay that. Double down, parlay, add it to the to, add it to the back quota. Because I'm, I'm riding with Usher, man. But Usher was amazing, man. The mother of lover came out there like Rashad from ATL on Mother Lover Skates. Him and Nunu was out there, they were getting it in, getting it in at Cascade. The whole Cascade came out right there. And I ain't mad at that. How can you be mad at him celebrating his the city of ATL? How can you be mad that he let Alicia Keys rock the mic? And then they came back and hit it with my boo. I knew that was coming. And then he had Luda out there. He had CeeLo out there. I mean, Jermaine Dupree out there. Uh, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought for a second that that was CeeLo for sure. I said, what, what song, what, what song Usher did with CeeLo? I ain't even know. So what you're saying is that uh, Jermaine Dupree got really fat. I didn't. Because the people, people in my, where I was were like, who is that? I said, that's Jermaine Dupree. So I said, that is? I said, CeeLo, okay. I didn't know CeeLo was with ATL like that. But obviously not. It was Jermaine Dupri. And then he came out there with Luda. Man, he had Lil John out there rocking in the motherfucking, in the motherfucking, with the fans and, and the crowd. Come on, man. Yeah, I had an ATL stomp on a freaking shoe. And I, and I thought I was there with them in ATL and I was having the time of my life. I thought I was, I was Rashad skating with Nunu. And it was just a great experience, man. And people are... Like it was fifteen minutes. What much more do you want? He's gonna it's gonna be short, you know, little verses of everything. He's trying to get everybody involved. And he did that very well. Everybody was involved. But it's only fifteen minutes, guys. It's not his concert. If you wanna go to his fucking concert, go to his damn concert. He has a concert in different places now. He left the he lost he left Las Vegas residency and now he's going to different places. And you know, now I'm going to ATL and 
I'm going to parlay that again. <laughs> Double down with that bet. High and ready, baby. High and ready. As long as you don't go grab my girl like you did, Alicia. You better buy a cheaper ticket, then. We will be up there in the three. No, we'll be there. No, actually, we're seeing him in Miami. I, I, I just forgot. We actually are seeing him in Miami. We're going to have a good time, man. But he's a he's an amazing artist. Um, I don't know much what what much more you want. He took his shirt off. He had a little. It wasn't a six pack. He had he had like the perfect keg belly. Like it was a, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump off that. We're gonna jump off that right there. Uh, thank you guys for Donald. Your- did you did you throw your your boxers at the television screen? No, I had a jersey. <laughs> I had a jersey. I threw that. I threw that. But I was da- absolutely dancing though. I was dancing in my living room with my oh phone. My God. So, with that being said, man, thank you guys for throwing on a section that I can get passionate about. And um, if you see me out there at the Usher concert, all you have to say is, "Come on now," and I'm gonna get excited to speak to you. 